Hey guys, so today we have designed this beautiful illustration and infographic in PowerPoint and I have learned illustration by joining various classes from Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you want to learn something new and if you want to take your creative journey to the next level, Skillshare is the platform for you. So what is Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community where you have access to thousands of inspiring classes on variety of topics ranging from animation, writing, film and video editing, graphic design, illustration, photography, music, web design, web development and lot more. It is one of the best learning platform for creative and curious people. If you are a beginner, pro or a master, Skillshare can help you learn with the help of engaging and inspiring classes. I have completed a class on illustration by design, a guide to elevating your drawing skills. This inspiring class from Era Marks helped me understand the background of illustration and the concept of design thinking. The best part about this course is that it is very easy to understand. This class has got positive reviews and people find it helpful and engaging. Here is a short preview of this class. What is design thinking? Design thinking can be defined as the search for simple and accessible solutions to complicated ideas or problems. The process can be found in early moments of human civilization, and it played an essential role in developing a working civilization. Here's how. Design thinking was born from the need to communicate. Long before written language and spoken communication. Skillshare is for learning and therefore there are no ads and you can stay focused throughout your class. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with the popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. So let's jump into the tutorial. The very first step is to insert this rounded rectangle and just place it here and keep its width like six points or six centimeters and the height close to 10 centimeters. So, and slightly increase its rounded corners by dragging this yellow point. Now format the background. Let's give it a gray color here. And let's pick this first gray color. And similarly, apply the same fill on this rounded rectangle. And let's remove its outline and go to this shadow effect. And we need a very powerful shadow here. So you need to increase the blur transparency as well as the distance and now you can see it's looking really nice very white corporate now go to insert and let's pick this circle and we will create a you know a, a small shadow effect on the on this rounded rectangle and for that you need to create this kind of a circle then subtract it with this rectangle just select both and go to merge shapes and subtract and you will get this plate looking shape so keep it at the center fill gradient and you will find this default preset gradient let's pick this gray and then let's try to slightly adjust the gradient here and on the first gradient stop i tried to keep it gray and on the last i tried to fill white but i think let's revert back to the default and move this second gradient stop to the middle I think the default setting is fine. Let's not change any gradient here. The default is fine. I was just experimenting here and just reduce or decrease its height and select and make sure keep it at the center because on the top part we have to add the text and on the bottom part we have to add the graphic. So now let's create a you know text. 
so here you can write the heading of this infographic so the font i'm using is mustard black it's a very you know heavy font so this gives a very unique look and it looks beautiful especially on these plain backgrounds keep it at the center and place it at the top here and then we will change its color go to text options and pick eyedropper tool and as you can see we have placed this color palette at the top just pick the color from there now go to insert or what we can do is just zoom in so that you can place position it better just duplicate this text box and here you can write the subheading after that let's change the font back to monster at regular and click on bold just decrease the font size and see if you can increase the character spacing but let's change the color to like light gray and then you can keep it loose the character spacing and this is how it will look again duplicate and here comes the description so for description i'm using the dummy content And here you can adjust the text styles bold unbold you have to see here what looks good to you as per the theme you are using the topic the subject and you can try different things here so here is the text and i think we need to remove some text here because less is more so this is fine slightly move it upwards and let's move this little graphic downwards and go to shape and let's add a small aesthetic element for that we need to cut this shape in half go to merge shapes and then subtract and you will get this little pie and or uh, handle and then fill white and this is how it will look but let's change its position let's keep it at the top i think the opposite side is a better placement for it so flip it horizontally and place it here Now let's pick some illustrations and in the Microsoft Office 365 we get these illustrations under the insert tab along with icons. So these are very beautiful and you can also edit the colors and sizes of these illustrations. Now let's pick this rounded rectangle. And we will also cut it in half with the help of a rectangle select both these shapes go to shape format merge and subtract now we need to flip it vertically and change its color but let's first place it at the bottom of this infographic here and make sure it is in the center and fill this dark gray color select all and press ctrl g to group now similarly you can create the four other you know these grouped items and then you need to change the color of the titles so this eyedropper tool is very handy when it comes to pick the colors otherwise you had to enter the color codes now ungroup these four infographic elements and replace this illustration with the other illustrations that we have 
make sure it is at the center and similarly ungroup this and remove this cup and place the next one and similarly you can do it for the other elements as well now just group them back so here you can see we are reusing the components and that's the best part of powerpoint it saves time and this yellow is very light and to make it more readable slightly move this color slider downwards and i think now it's fine now select this second and fourth and move these grouped items upwards and then now let's pick a curve tool here it is and let's draw a wave and just a random wave and then complete the shape and and you will get this kind of a shape increase the transparency so that you can see it properly remove its outline decrease the size and we need to remove the extra portion of this shape with the help of rectangles just draw three rectangles one on the left one on the right and the third one on the bottom and then subtract the wave with the help of these rectangles one by one first select the wave and then select the rectangle and that's how subtract works and now let's fill the gradient color you need five gradient stops 0 25% 50% 75% and 100% that should be the position of the gradient stops so we are equally distributing these five colors on a gradient path so let's pick the color and fill from the color palette on each gradient stop and you can see currently the gradient is from top to bottom and we will change its direction from left to right like this and currently you can see the gradient looks very saturated slightly change its angle to like 5 to 10 percent now just duplicate this layer apply solid fill and place it over this gradient shape This gradient shape is currently not aligned from left. Let's align it better. Yep, now it's perfect. And let's duplicate it now. Fill the solid white. Go to shapes, align left and align top. And this is how it will look. Now let's start increasing the transparency. And now you can see the gradient is looking more cool and not very saturated now select both these layers and we need to send these layers to the pack and here you can see we also need to change the color of these illustrations So you can pick the illustrations one by one and fill the color from the color palette. So as you can see, this is a very easy to create infographic. You just need to create one component and then just duplicate and change the colors and slightly the positioning. However, the infographic is complete, but we can do some more things just for fun let's add a nice background and this is a very nice and white texture increase the transparency of this background and this is how it looks so this is the final output and you can add some animations based on your styles 
and i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share this video and we will see you guys in our next video and do not forget to download this from the g drive link provided in the video description